Hello kids. Today, let's start with the new chapter, The Suitable Partner. What comes to your mind when you hear the word, the suitable partner? A partner, it can be your friend. So, what are the characteristics of a suitable partner that comes to your mind? Friendly, happy, confident, peaceful, calm, aligned. So I hope all these things comes to your mind whenever you think about a friend or anyone who is your partner. Objectives of the lesson, the suitable partner. To tell the students to be proud of their indi individuality and personality. To tell them to never under influence of others. To tell them to never come under influence of others. Difficult words. The first word is hermit. A person living in peace. So you can see a picture of a sage. Serene, calm and peaceful. Which is calm and peaceful. Pranced. Move proudly. You can see over here in the picture that the boy is moving proudly. Stared. Stared means gazed fixedly. When we used to gaze at something, a girl is gazing at stars. Overblamed. To be completely by something when we are full of everything like we have a lot of things to do. You can see over here in the picture that a man is thinking about urgent work, to-do list, meetings, calls, and everything. Maiden, young unmarried girl. Drowned, drowned means submerged. Stunt, stunt means very impressed. So let's start with the reading of the lesson. The lush, Green woods on the banks of the river, Ganges always attracted the hermits. There they could mediate in the serene atmosphere where peacocks danced, sparrows chipped, and the deer pranced about. The hermits mediated for days without a thought of worldly matters and acquired great power. Long ago, a hermit was walking by the banks of the river Ganges to have a bath before he began his day's meditation. This hermit was extremely kind by nature and would not harm any creature, great or small. On reaching the river, chanting the name of God, he bent down and gathered a palm full of water and thanked God for his mercies. His eyes were closed and suddenly he heard something falling into his cupped palms. He looked up and saw a hawk flying across the sky and realized that it must have dropped the tiny little mouse in his palms. The little baby mouse stared helplessly at the hermit. It appeared as though it was begging the hermit to protect it from wicked world. If I let it go on its own, I am sure it will be killed by a bird of prey, thought the hermit. The hermit was confused and was almost ready to drop the mouse under a tree. Just then his wife came out to call for him. Seeing her, the hermit changed his mind. My wife is forever lonely. I have no time for her because of my meditation and learning. Why don't I change the mouse into a little girl with my power? My wife will be very pleased to have company. 
he thought. Quickly, he closed his eyes and chanted some holy verses. The mouse turned into a beautiful little girl. The hermit's wife was overwhelmed with joy and brought up the little girl as her own. The girl grew up into a lovely young maiden and it was the time to find a handsome groom for her. When the hermit realized this, he began to think of an idle person for his precious daughter. The hermit did not want to settle for anything less than a divine being. His first choice, of course, was the sun god. With the powers he had acquired with meditation, he could get the sun god to come down to earth and visit his home. When his daughter saw the handsome god, she began to plead with her father, saying that she was far too scared to marry the sun god. I might be born if I live with him, cried the mouse girl. The hermit had to agree with her. A few days later, he brought the god of clouds, hoping that his daughter would find him suitable. However, when the mouse girl met him, she started pleading with her father, saying that she might be drowned in rain if she married him. This continued for something. The hermit and his wife began to worry about their daughter as she continued to reject whoever was brought. One day, the three of them were sitting under a tree. A big fat mouse came out of a hole in the tree. The hermit's daughter smiled brightly and spoke with joy. Father, will you ask the mouse if he would like to marry me? I will be very happy if he agrees. I do not know why, but I feel that he will be ideally suited for me. When the hermit heard this, he was stunned. But deep within his heart, he understood that his daughter was right in wanting to go back to where she belonged, a family of mice. With his mystic powers, he changed his daughter into a mouse again and arranged her wedding with the big fat mouse. So this story is about a hermit. He changed the mouse into a girl, but she wants to marry a mice only. That's why with the mystic powers, he again changed his daughter into a mouse again, and she was married to a fat big mouse. I hope the chapter is clear to you all. Thank you.